Well, tonight, people experiencing homelessness, they were trying to stay safe in the frigid temperatures, but one woman lost everything she had, just trying not to freeze. Reporter Leslie Delisboer found out who's working to help those in need keep warm. Oh my God, man. We got, do we have a extinguisher? Out in the cold, trying to seek warmth. They ain't got, they ain't got no tent or nothing. We expected to find volunteers offering warming supplies. We didn't expect to see someone lose everything in mere moments. The sounds of fire overpowered the cries of one woman as she watched her tent engulf in flames. A harsh reality for the cold and homeless in Kansas City. I need, I need to get you into shelter, okay? <laughs> Not to here, but warming center. I mean, they're trying to stay warm inside their tent in ways where they have to be uh, utilizing some type of uh, a form of, life of heat, you know, whether it's burning wood or whether it's some kind of propane or it's some, of some sort. So by a tent burning down, it is a formalization of what needs to happen in our city and what can happen in our city to open up centers to allow them to stay warm in the night hours. A reality that Anton Washington says is hard to imagine. That's their livelihood. And being out here in these elements, is, this, this is basically their life until we, we are, they're able to be housed. But it's something he and his street outreach team are always prepared for. We, we, we certainly made the offer to take her to shelter, and she expressed that she doesn't feel safe and that she's had bad experiences in the past, which is a pretty common um, thing that we hear about folks who are out here. Normally, people out here are suffering with PTSD, so we did make her her own tent. We try to equip people who are living outdoors, equip them with um, fire safety tools such as fire blankets, fire uh, retardant sprays, fire extinguishers, relying on donations from the community. Good quality lotions and Vaseline. Um, also cough and cold right now, so face masks, cough drops. They use AAA batteries for flashlights, AA batteries for radios. Um, same with C and D batteries as well for um, radios and stereos and things like that. They do what they can to help folks like this woman survive the elements and try to rebuild their lives. But they've had a very difficult life and they've not been given the same tools and same network of support, truly. Um, and therefore, the fact that they're able to survive this way is really beautiful and fascinating. In Kansas City, Leslie Delisport, KSHB 41 News.